Katara. 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 Don't bring my mother into this. Grand Grand! Oh, you've all gotten so big. We missed you, Aunt Kaya. Oh, I missed you too. Your father doesn't bring you to visit nearly enough. He's probably scared I'll beat him up like when we were kids. I'm not scared of you anymore. She's strong. She lacks restraint. Three elements down, one to go. You're getting ahead of yourself as usual, Cora. We haven't decided if you passed your firebending test yet. Ever since you were a little girl, you've excelled at the physical side of bending, but completely ignored the spiritual side. The Avatar must master both. I haven't ignored it. It just doesn't come as easy to me. But that's why I should start training with Tenzin immediately. He's Mr. Spiritual. Do you believe she's ready, Master Katara? Yes. If anyone can teach her what she needs to learn, it's Tenzin. Very well, Cora. It's time for you to begin your airbending training. Yes! Finally! I mean, <clears throat> thank you all for believing in me. <laughs> I think you forgot a couple of things. Mother, I think I need some time alone with my family right now. This is your family, Tenzin. When you get to be my age, you'll be thankful for the time you had with your siblings. Besides, I think it's important that you all visit your father's home together. Come on, it'll be fun. I'm dying to see that laid-back vacation Tenzin I've heard so much about. All right, hop on. I love you, Mom. We'll see you soon. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It looks like I know this. This is very familiar. Are we here yet? Are we here yet? Oh, please, I'm yes, here. Iggy. As I've been telling you for the last 15 minutes, we are finally here. <laughs> Hello, Mother. I can't tell you how happy I am to see you. Please, help me. <laughs> Unhand me, strange woman! That's your grandmother, Milo. It's so good to see all of you. Grand Grand, I've been reading all about your old adventures. I've been dying to ask you, what happened to Zuko's mom? Well, Janora, it's an incredible tale. Grand Grand, you look old. How old are you? And why is it so cold in the South Pole? Can we make a campfire and all huddle around it and tell scary stories and make snowmen? And then can you make the snowman move with water bedding and chase us? Wouldn't that be fun, huh? Wouldn't it? Emma, let me help you. Careful now. Careful. Stop doting on me. I'm not helpless. I'm just pregnant. The baby's strong. I see another airbender in your future. All I want is one child like me, a nice non-bender who doesn't blast wind in my face every five seconds. Mommy, look, I'm a snowbender! Were Tenzin and his siblings this crazy when they were kids? Kaya and Bumi certainly were, but Tenzin has always been rather serious. Mother, please. Cora? Look at you, so big and strong. You've grown into quite the young avatar. Master Tenzin, I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait to get started. Yes, well... <sighs> you're going to have to tell her sooner or later. Wait, tell me what? You're not staying, are you? <sighs> I'm afraid not. We're only visiting for the night. Then I have to return to Republic City. But, no, you're supposed to move here. Uh, you're supposed to teach me. I'm sorry, Cora. Your airbending training is going to have to wait. 
The poison did a lot of internal damage. Can you fix it? I can help guide your healing process, but whether you get better or not is up to you. I know what it's like to go through a traumatic experience. And I promise you, if you dedicate yourself to getting better, you'll recover stronger than ever. That's what I want. More than anything. Then try something for me. Concentrate on your big toe. Visualize it moving. Breathe. It worked! The mind can be a powerful ally, or your greatest enemy. Now, I want you to try taking a step. <laughs> you're okay. Your body thinks it is still in danger, but you're safe here. Use your mind to overcome the pain. Try again. I'm done for today. What happened? Her soul is trapped in the spirit world. Oh my goodness. How long has she been away? Almost a week. I've tried to keep her energy flowing. But I can feel her slipping away. You're the only one who can help her now, Mom. How much longer can she survive like this? I don't know. But she's very strong to have lasted this long. Goodbye, Grand Grand! Oogie? Yip yip. Nice night for an escape, isn't it? I have to leave. I have to find my own path as the Avatar. I know you do. Ang's time has passed. My brother and many of my friends are gone. It's time for you and your generation to take on the responsibility of keeping peace and balance in the world. And I think you're going to be a great Avatar. Thank you. Goodbye, Cora. Looks like someone's trying to take your place as the Avatar stick in the mud mentor. Boomy, don't pick on Tenzin. You know he's always been sensitive. I'm not sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. What's the point? We've been at this for almost six months and I can barely take a couple of steps without collapsing. I know you're frustrated, but- Of course I'm frustrated! A crazy man poisoned me and now I can't dress myself or cook for myself or, or do anything for myself. And this whole time, my friends have been off helping the world while I'm stuck with you and you can't even heal me! That came out wrong. It's all right. Let your anger and frustration flow like water. I am trying to understand why this happened to me, but nothing makes any sense. I'm tired, Katara. I'm so tired. Cora, I know you feel alone right now, but you're not the first Avatar who's had to overcome great suffering. Can you imagine how much pain Aang felt when he learned that his entire culture was taken from him? That must have been so awful. But he never let it destroy his spirit. He chose to find meaning in his suffering and eventually found peace. And what am I going to find if I get through this? I don't know. But won't it be interesting to find out? Go 
Close your eyes. Visualize yourself walking over to Naga. Oh. Can you see it? Yes. Now, take that first step. tried everything in my power, but I cannot restore Cora's bending. But you're the best healer in the world. You have to keep trying. I'm sorry, there's nothing else I can do. Cora can still airbend, but her connection to the other elements has been severed. It's going to be all right, Cora. No, it's not. It's so good to see you. How have you been, Cora? You look great. I feel great. Come on, I want to show you how much better I'm doing. I can take it! All right, the sparring match is over. I thought I was ready. There is no shame in taking the time you need to make a full recovery. Being the Avatar can wait. But what about the Earth Kingdom? I hear it's still a mess out there. The situation has been stabilizing since Kuvira took charge. But that should be me out there fixing things, not her. I know you want to help. But trust me, everyone has this under control. I just think you need to... If you say be patient, I swear I'm gonna water smack you in the mouth! No, I was going to say you need to not worry about the future. Be grateful for where you are now and the progress you've made. Dear Asami, I'm sorry I haven't written to you sooner, but every time I've tried, I never knew what to say. The past two years have been the hardest of my life. Even though I can get around fine now, I still can't go into the Avatar state. I keep having visions of Zaheer and what happened that day. Katara thinks a lot of this is in my head, so I've been meditating a lot. But sometimes I worry I'll never fully recover. Please don't tell Mako and Bolin I wrote to you and not them. I don't want to hurt their feelings, but it's easier to tell you about this stuff. I don't think they'd understand. Cora and the others. Don't worry. They're all right. Cora saved the world.
Thank you. I am so proud of you, Avatar Korra. The War of the Water Tribes is over. Unalak has been defeated, and the Northern Fleet is returning home. The Water Tribes will always be allies. But the Southern Tribe is now independent, and the Southern Council of Elders has appointed my father, Tonrock, to be your new chief! I've realized that even though we should learn from those who came before us, we must also forge our own path. So that is why I've decided to keep the portals open. Humans can now physically enter the spirit world, and spirits will be free to roam our world. I will no longer be the bridge. Humans and spirits must learn to live together. My mission will always be to use Rava's light spirit to guide the world toward peace and balance. Harmonic convergence has caused a shift in the planet's energy. I can feel it. Things will never be the same again. We are entering a new age. I wanted to apologize for how I acted yesterday. I've worked so hard to celebrate Dad's legacy that I may have overlooked the parts of him that were less than ideal. And we're sorry for dumping our frustrations with Dad out on you. Yeah, you didn't deserve that. I thought you two might want to see this. Mom gave it to me before we left. That is one good-looking family, huh? That's one happy family. <laughs>